Question number three. The expression ax squared minus 30x plus 9 is a perfect square where a is a constant. Find the value of a. Now to find the value of a, there are two methods. The first method you're going to find a by using another expression of which you're going to expand and then you compare the different values. That is the first one I'm going to use. So let me form another expression. Let's say an expression like uh, mx minus b and then I expand these. So when I expand this expression, I will get m squared x squared minus 2 mx b plus b squared. So what I'm going to do, I will compare all the three terms with what I have here. That is uh, ax squared minus 30 this is 30x plus 9. And the first value, so you can see this, uh, m squared x squared corresponds to a x squared. Then the middle term again, you compare, then the last term. So when I look at this, for instance, uh, if I take um, b squared is equals to 9, I will get b as positive or negative 3 by getting the square root. This will help me now when I go to compare uh, the middle term. Now the middle term we have negative 2mxb is equals to negative 30x. So in this case, I'm going to only pick the coefficients of x. So the coefficients of x, I'm going to, because uh, both of them are negative, I'm going to compare the coefficients of x, which will be 2mb is equals to 30. So this time, if I substitute the value of b, the value of b is positive or negative 3. So let me start by the positive value. The positive value, when I substitute, I get 6m is equals to 30. So in this case, m is equals to 5. <coughs> so that's the first value of m. Now the second value of m is when I substitute now negative 3. So when b is negative 3, I'll get negative 6m is equals to 30. So m will be negative 5. So you realize that the value of m is therefore plus or negative 5. Now, to get a, we are going to compare now. Look at the first term. Look at this. We are going to compare m squared is equals to a. So m squared is equals to a and since m is positive or negative 5 if you square that you will get a yes positive or negative 5 is square you still get 25 so therefore the value of a is 25 that is the method one now there's still another method the other method is uh, when you use this formula b squared minus 4ac is equals to 0 now, in this equation that we have here, ax squared minus 30x, we have b, b will be negative 30. b is negative 30. Then c is uh, 9. So, if we substitute these values in this, in this equation, we shall get the value of a. So, b squared, which is uh, negative 30 squared minus 4 times a times c and c is uh, 9 should give 0 so this will give 900 subtract 36 a is equals to 0 so when you work out uh, the value of a here you will get a as 25 so that is the second method so you can use that formula or you can use another expression which you're going to expand. That is also supposed to solve that question.